Hello and <clears throat> sorry. welcome to a, another VB.NET Tutorials. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to actually print data that's entered into your program off on an actual printer. So we're just going to go new project, call it print demo. And on our little design here we're going to want a rich text box. doesn't really matter where you put it and add in a button. Now what I don't usually do in, in the tutorials I've been making is correctly name the buttons. The text is going to be print, the name is going to be btn print. Just put up there a name, we're just going to call this rich text box, take off the one. We're also going to need a print document and a print dialog. The print dialog, they're both down here. The print dialog, we're going to change this document setting to print document 1. You choose it from here. And now that we've done that, we're going to double click on print document 1. We're going to make, or well first we have to import. Import system dot drawing dot printing dim. So we're just going to make a new font here. So we're dimming new font as new font. You can choose any font you want to go here. I'm just going to choose Arial 11 font style dot regular, so that's size 11 aerial, you can change any of these, just muck around with it if you like, e.graphics.draw string brackets rich text box, comma, using font 1, comma, brushes, dot black, so it's going to print in black ink, and that's the thickness of the brush, which is the default. Oh, what's the problem here? Hmm. Sorry, there we go. Rich text box dot text. There we go. Um, so when print document one is called, it's going to run this code. And we have to make our print button call that code. So um, print document one dot sh which one was it? Oh, sorry. Uh, print dialog one dot show dialog. Yep. So now we can type anything in here. Select print, and we'll get our little printer thing up here. So we can choose any printer we'd like. Press print, and I'll print out on your printer at home. Obviously, you need to have your printer connected to this, unless it's a wireless printer, so it does work, just you need to have it connected. Um, so that's basically how to use the print functions in VB. Um, as the time goes on, I'll probably add, show you guys how to preview, so it comes up with a preview of what um, is going to be printed. I'll do that as well, and I'll show you how to add data into here as in, uh, in the form of a database. Um, so I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.